In this video, we're going to back up a database from an Azure SQL managed instance onto Azure Blob Storage. And we're going to restore that backup onto a SQL Server 2022 instance. I'm starting out in the Azure portal and I'm in my resource group where I have my Azure SQL managed instance um, created. You can see right here, SQL and My Insiders. I also have a storage account, and this storage account is where we are going to back up our database to so we can then restore it to our SQL 2022 instance. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go inside of my storage account, and I'm going to come over under security and networking, and I'm going to get a shared access signature. I'm going to need this shared access signature for our scripts where we back up our database and also where we restore it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click service container and object. I'm going to leave a pretty quick time frame on here. So this will only be active for a little while. I'm going to click generate SAS token and it will generate it. I'm going to come over and click copy the keyboard. And then I'm going to go over to my SQL manage instance and I'm going to put it in my script right here. Now, one thing I will do is I'm going to remove this question mark. We have to remove the question mark in order for this to happen. So I am going to need to create this credential. This credential goes to my uh, storage account, SQL and My Insiders, and it's gonna go to a container I've created called DB Backups. So that way, when we back up our database, it can go there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit execute to create this. And then you can see I'm using the demo internals database over here. I'm going to say use demo internals database. But first I want us to understand the databases we create in SQL manage instance are encrypted by default. So if I come over here, I have a script where I'm doing a select from sysdm database encrypted keys. And I've Got some case statements to make this very easy for us to read. When I run it, I will get back my databases that are encrypted and what their state is. And you can see that I have tempdb encrypted as well as demo internals. The encryption state three is equivalent to the description of encrypted. Um, and when we decide to de-encrypt a database, we can actually look at the percent complete. One thing to keep in mind, I have a very small database for demo internals that we're using for this example. So my de-encryption will go very, very quickly, but your uh, de-encryption process will largely be dependent upon the size of your database. If I come back over here to this script, I'm gonna use the demo internals database and I'm going to alter the database and set the encryption off. Now, if I attempt to back up this database without setting the encryption off, this is the error we will get. You can see the backup operation for a database with a service managed transparent data encryption is not supported on SQL database managed instance. So I will come up here, we'll run this. And when I run this, I'm gonna very quickly go over here so we can check the decryption status. And you can see that decryption is in progress. Again, this went really fast. I'm gonna run this script one more time. And this 100 uh, will turn to a zero and we'll see that it's unencrypted. Now you would think we would be done here, but we're not. While it is an unencrypted database, we've got a little bit more we have to do. So I'm gonna come back over to our script. And if I attempt to back up our database without dropping the encryption key, I'll get another error. Backup with copy only cannot be performed since the database encryption key for the database demo internals still exists. Retry command after you drop, and this probably says, let me hit enter right here, drop the database encryption key. Backup database is uh, terminated abnormally. So we'll come back over here. We're going to drop our database encryption key. And now when we come back over to our TD validation script and I rerun this, I can see that the database is no longer listed. So it's not in an encrypted state whatsoever. At this point in time, we are now safe to be able to back up our database. And as you can see, there we go, it is backed up. So I'm going to now connect to my Azure SQL 2022 instance. You can see I have no databases here. 
I'm going to create the credential using the same credential that we had before. So let's go ahead and run that. And now I'm going to restore the database. Now you're no going to notice that I've got a move operation in here. I need to move the data file. I need to move the log file and the XTP file that are created by the default. So let's go ahead and restore this database. And this is demo internals from script. Very quickly it restores and I can refresh my databases and I see there it is, demo internals from script. Now I can also do this via the GUI. So let's walk through how we do that. We'll click on restore database. We go to device and we're going to open up URL. We're going to click add. And I'm going to need to sign into my Azure account here. I'm going to skip some of those details. We get a shared access signature. We browse to our uh, storage account and our backups directory. I'm going to go into backups. I'm going to select demo internal backups. I'm going to click OK. This processes, and you, as you can see, I'm going to need to move these files. These are weird URLs. As soon as I check the relocate all files box, I get this good. So let's go ahead and let's take the data file and we're going to name this demo internals.mdf and we'll click OK and we're going to change the log now and we'll change this to demo internals underscore log dot LDF. OK. And then I'm going to change our XTP file and we'll name that demo internals underscore XTP dot XTP and click OK. And now I can click OK and I run the database and you can see there's my demo internals database restored from the GUI.